Man, it's looking like Chris Paul may lose the one ring he only ever had, man, because what Kanye decided to do tonight, I mean, I don't know what got into him. You know, it's 11 o'clock at night, but Kanye decides to go on Twitter after a long, long, long day of just spilling uh, anti-Semitic quotes on Alex Jones's um, show, uh, InfoWars. He decided that, you know what, yo, let me finish off the day right. Like, this has been a long day, but let me just put, like, just a little cherry on the top. So Kanye West goes on Twitter and he says, um, let's break one last window before we get out of here. I caught this guy with Kim. Good night. Now that guy he's talking about, he's talking about Chris Paul. Now I'm not sure if um, you know, this is the, 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 the product of Devin Booker because I know a lot of people give Chris Paul the title of the point guard but um, it's looking like Devin Booker is the one that's really passing off these assists off the court because, you know, everybody know D-Book got his thing going on with Kendall. So he's probably thinking like, yo, man, Chris, like, what you, man, how long you been with Jada for? You said since 2011? That's when you married her? I got something for you. I got something for you. He looks like he kind of dished off Kim K to him. Now, one thing um, that Kanye, you know, he wasn't really specific. He just said, I caught this guy with Kim. Now, we don't know what that means. Most people will jump to the conclusions thinking that, all right, look like Chris Paul might have been slinging that BBC. But, you know, they could be doing Bible study. Um, you know, Chris Paul had a really, really tough series um, against the Mavericks. Game seven, I mean, just complete blowout. So maybe both of them needed some time to heal, uh, find God, uh, reflect. So that's what Kanye could mean when he said, I caught this guy with Kim. You know, he, he never really uh, got into real specifics, but it just looks like um, Kanye West is going down a really, really crazy path and um, dangerous path. He's going downhill, and it looks like he's willing to take anybody and everybody that he can down with him. Like, for him to just go at Chris Paul for no reason, like, nobody ever speculated this. No, nobody ever put two and two together to even think, wait, is Chris Paul um, with Kim? This wasn't even something that... Uh, nobody was even like thinking about. So for Kanye just to put this out there, man, he knew it was going to shock the world. He knew it was going to get Twitter riled up. And that's just what Kanye's on right now. It looks like um, he's been canceled to the point where he can't be canceled anymore. I mean, bank account's been frozen. IRS is doing their thing. He's lost his wife. Um, doesn't really have a, 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 um, you know, full custody of his kids. It's just, it's just one thing after the other. And it looks like Kanye West, he don't care who's in his way. So if you're around Ye, I mean, you better keep your guard up because it looks like Kanye's willing to put anybody in front of his way and take you out. If that's going to help elevate his career or, you know, put him in a better spotlight or get his name out there even more. I think he's really serious about running for 2024, the campaign. I don't think he has any chance. I don't know what party he's going to jump with, but. Man, I think Ye's just wasting time, wasting his money. Like the last campaign he had back in, um, uh, 2020, uh, they said he put up like 13 million of his own money, and he got like 60,000 votes. So I mean, if you do the math, like, come on, Kanye, that's a that's a big waste of time, big waste of money. But for Chris Paul, man, I hope you don't lose your wife over this. I hope you don't lose your uh, your kids over this, because these allegations with a guy like Kanye West, man, he has a huge, huge platform, and when he speaks, it goes. I mean, like, it goes viral instantly. Like, he knew right away. Like. I'm sure Chris Paul, you know, his, his phone's probably blowing up left or right. Um, well, I hope it's not blowing up too, man, because I know, you know, Chris Paul got that State Farm gig with, um, with, the, with the car insurance. Well, maybe that's what it was. Maybe Kim K needed car insurance. Oh, D. I just put two and two together. Maybe they wasn't fucking. Maybe it was just car insurance. Or home insurance that they needed. That's why she went to Chris Paul. Bruh, see? Kanye West, you got everybody up in arms. This could be like a no harm, no foul situation. You know, when Chris Paul probably puts out a statement, he, that's probably what he's going to go to. That that would be like a, a pretty good defense. You know, it was it was just some car insurance. It had nothing to do with nothing sexual or anything like that. Here I am thinking D-Book passed him the assist. Whole time is about car insurance. Yeah. That's what I would go with if I was Chris Paul, man. Save my marriage, cause hell no, I ain't throwing everything away. Not for, uh, not for Kim K. Uh, uh I mean, she it looked like she gone from one dude to the next. One minute, uh, she's with this guy. The next minute, she's with Skeet. 
Then it's this guy, some CNN anchor. It's just, nah, nah, nah. And plus, we don't even know the timeline and when this really took place. Like, it was this after they um, broke up? This is after the divorce was finalized? After this was separated? Or was this going on while they were married? Jesus Christ. We just will never know. Who knows what Kanye is going to put out tonight, where he may go with it. But, man. Kanye West, Kanye West. Well, you know, that's really my take on this whole conversation, man. Uh, like if you want to, comment if you want to, subscribe if you want to. If not, life goes on.